An economic collapse is a period of national or regional economic breakdown when the economy is distressed. And it can last for years or even decades. It usually happens following times of crisis, such as war, civil unrest, or a pandemic. And it can make the world a very dangerous place, as it can lead to violent protests and a breakdown of law and order. If you want to have a good chance at surviving one, then you'd better start preparing now, because once an economic collapse begins, it might be too late. Wait. We're spending much more on food than last year. Cars are 30% more expensive than they were a few years ago, and the stock market is predicted to stagnate in 2023. That all adds up to an economic collapse. You better find a safe place for your money. Well, according to a Citibank report, over the past three decades, contemporary art has doubled the total return of Wall Street's most reliable fund, the Standard & Poor's 500. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Only billionaires can buy a Picasso, right? Not anymore. With Masterworks, you can invest in multi-million dollar paintings like Picassos, Basquiat's, and Banksy's, just like you would in a company's stock. But better, the numbers speak for themselves. Right now, there's a wait list to join of over 650,000 investors, but you can skip it. All you have to do is follow the link in the description. Start investing in the world's hottest and most valuable artwork today. Okay, now your money is safe, but you'll need more than that to make it out of this economic collapse alive. Number one, generate your own power. During an economic collapse, you may not be able to rely on the usual energy systems to power your home. So you'd better learn how to create your own electricity. This could mean investing in a portable generator, solar panels, or even wind turbines. The more you have to rely on utility companies during uncertain times, the more vulnerable you'll be. Number two, create an emergency fund. If you have to survive in an economic collapse, it will save you a lot of stress if you don't have any debts to pay and you have a big pile of cash saved up. But depending on how the collapse plays out, your money could quickly become worthless. So that's not the only thing you should be saving up. In a world where cash holds little value, precious metals such as gold and silver and items to barter such as medical kits and batteries could become the new currency. So you'd better start saving up now. Number three, stock up on extra food and water. As supply chains and grocery stores shut down, having extra food and water on hand could be crucial to your survival. Having enough non-perishable food, drinking water, and medical supplies to last for several months means that regardless of how the economic changes unfold, you'll have the basics you need to live. Growing your own food would help sustain you for even longer, so start planting a garden now. You could grow vegetables on a sunny windowsill if you don't have a yard. Number four, develop healthy habits. Depending on the type of economic collapse and its severity, you may need to adapt to a survival lifestyle, which will be a lot easier if you're in good physical shape. Eat well and exercise. You want your body to be in the best shape possible in order to survive the challenges you'll face. During an economic collapse, the world could become a dangerous place, so you'll want to be physically capable of handling it swiftly and escaping any threatening situations you might face. On that note, you might want to take a self-defense course, just in case you have to fight off anyone trying to steal your food and water. Number five, become an expert at what you do. When the economy is in crisis, people lose their jobs. The experts in their fields are less likely to lose their jobs than the generalists. If you become an expert in your field, you will have much more job security in hard times and it's likely that during good times, you would be paid much more. 
Also, if the economy devolves to the point where jobs and money are things of the past, you could always barter your expertise for goods or services. So there you have it. When it comes to surviving an economic collapse, it's better to be overprepared than underprepared. If you're not ready for it, then you might find yourself without a home, living on the streets by the time the economy recovers. How would you survive that? Don't worry, we've got just the video for you.